Hello and welcome to this week's hardware show. I'm Dave, the resident hardware guru. Hello, and I'm Rich, the in this context, the hardware assistant. Yeah, it's a lovely assistant. Mm. And today we're going to show you how to install a new SSD as your main boot drive. And what might be the benefits of doing that, Dave? So putting a new SSD into your machine will lift the whole performance a bit, uh, make it feel a bit more responsive, and you should get faster game load times too. Okay, cool. So how would I go about that? Would I just sort of plug it in and copy across some files, or what? You can just absolutely just drop it in as a data drive and it will pop up in Windows and appear as just a, a normal storage drive. Mm -hmm. So you can use that as your new Steam installation folder and games will run a bit quicker, um, load a bit quicker and stuff as well. But you won't get the full benefit of an SSD unless you use it as a boot drive. Okay, cool. So that would mean installing your operating system, Windows, whatever it may be, on that, as well as everything else that you want to give a little bit of a kick to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that can be quite daunting to go for a fresh installation of Windows, get all your applications set up again. Um, but it's actually really, really simple to clone your entire boot drive onto the new SSD. And that's what we're going to show you today. Awesome. It's just really easy. Just need a little bit of software, a little bit of time, and jobs are good. So step one is to make sure that your old installation will fit on your new drive. So first off, you need to compare the sizes of your installation. If the use space is bigger on your current drive than the total capacity of your new SSD, then you're going to need to do some housekeeping. Here we've got a 340 gigabytes of use space going onto a 750 gigabyte SSD, so that's not too bad. But if you do need to make some space, you can just uninstall some games or apps from within Windows, like so, or use a program such as Windeer Stat. This will display all your different file types um, in grouped colored blocks to make it easier to see what's taking up space. And then you can just uninstall data from within those programs. Okay, so this step is all about getting your new SSD into your PC. So first off, you need to locate the relevant cables. So you need a SATA power cable, like so. It's a little bit thinner than the standard Molex cables. Um, you also need a SATA data cable, which is one of these. Um, you'll have got that with your PC, so it might come in some of the extras that you got. Um, also get them with motherboards and possibly with your new SSD too. Okay, and this is all for mounting a standard 2.5 inch SSD, but there's a new format as well, the NVMe SSDs. Yeah, that's right. So that's these little things here. So that's a full terabyte on a little slice of PCB. Wow. So those mount in a slightly different way. So they go directly onto the motherboard um, in these little PCI Express slots here. So they're called N.2s. Okay, cool. And because they're, you know, relatively new and I, I imagine they're quite expensive? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a lot more expensive than a standard 2.5 inch drive, but they are also a lot quicker as well. So that's the flagship for SSDs, um, but if you just want to save a bit of money, the standard 2.5 inch drives are still a lot quicker than hard drives. Okay, cool. So how do we mount one of those? Okay, so you need to locate the mounting points inside your chassis. So where the standard hard drives are, um, you'll have brackets that you can put the 2.5 inch SSDs in. And as I said, the M.2 drives go into this little socket up here. So now we just need to attach our drive. Okay, so you need to attach the SSD to the mounting point in your chassis. Here it drops into a spare drive bay, so you can just screw it into the caddy and drop it into the drive bay. Then you need to attach the separate SATA power and data cables. So this is the data cable here. Just drop that in until it clicks and do the same with a spare SATA power cable. So feed the data cable through your chassis and plug it into a spare SATA port on your motherboard. M.2 SSDs are even easier to install. You simply slide them into a spare socket on your motherboard and screw them into place. You may need to locate a separate riser screw to separate it from your motherboard, um, but that will be in your spares or motherboard box. You, you kept all that, right? So download a program called Macrium Reflect. This is the tool that we'll use to clone our current installation onto our SSD. So install that take a couple of minutes and then you just run it. Macrium Reflect will analyze your system and display all the attached drives on your PC. So select the drive you want to clone and click clone this disk. This is the drive that will contain your C drive with extra partitions. Now those partitions are still quite important, so you need to copy the whole lot across. Our current SSD has got an installation on it already, so we just need to delete these existing partitions to make sure we've got a clean block to copy to. So once that's done, drag your current partitions over onto the spare space. Um, here we completely filled it up, so we'll need to shrink down this final partition here. So you can shrink a partition by selecting it and hitting the Cloned Partition Properties button. So we need to free up 10 gigabytes for the final partition, so we just need to shrink that partition down a little bit. 
So once it's been shrunk down, we've got spare space and we can drop the final partition in and extend that to complete the drive. Now we've set up the partitions for cloning, we can click next a couple of times and check that you're definitely cloning the right drive to the right SSD. Because once you hit finish, this will all kick off. So select run this back up now, click OK, and it will go. And this is going to take a while. Three hours later. So now it's just a case of getting your PC to boot with your new SSD. Uh, first off, you need to disconnect your old drive to make sure that your PC is definitely booting off your new SSD. Right. Um, and then you should be getting into Windows and both everything and hopefully nothing will be different. Okay, great. And uh, once we've done that, what are our options for stuff to do with our old hard drive? Well, we could just use that to boost the storage of your PC. So once you're absolutely confident that your new SSD is up and running and stable and everything's hunky-dory, uh, you can plug in your old hard drive, uh, change the boot priorities in your BIOS, mm -hmm. uh, so it's definitely booting off the SSD, and then once you get into Windows, you can just format your drive from within there, have lots of extra storage space for all the good stuff. Okay, ideal, and that's it then. That's job it, done. your job done, up and running. Okay, cool. Thanks very much, Dave, for walking us through that. Thank you for watching. There's plenty more on PC gaming in general and about hardware specifically on our website and on our YouTube channel, so like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching.